My fiancé cheated on me and told me he doesn't love me anymore, but he didn't know I was pregnant, so I let him know and then terminated the baby without giving him a say. Posted by you slash gum I do s with cream. I don't know how to start this. My fiancé told me that he has been cheating on me for over a year, and we've been together for seven years in total. He says he doesn't want to be together anymore, which broke my heart, and it still does since we were high school sweethearts. His girlfriend was with him when he told me this, which made me even more upset since he didn't have the decency to tell me one-on-one. -on -one. He led his girlfriend into our home, the one we bought together. Anyway, I wanted to tell him that I was pregnant on his birthday since it is really close. He always wanted a family, a big family with at least five kids. I didn't want kids that much, but I didn't mind them either. The moment he told me we were over, I knew I didn't want that baby. I didn't want to co-parent or be a single mom, any of that. I have a good paying job, and that might make me selfish for not wanting the baby, but I don't care. I told him I was pregnant when he told me it was over, and he looked a little upset, like he regretted it or something. He said he was fine with split custody, and I didn't say anything. A few days later, I got a termination. I thought it was necessary to tell him and not lead him on since I didn't want to see or talk to him ever again. He called me when I sent the text, saying, why the f would you do that, and so on. He said I knew damn well he wanted kids, and I should have told him before even thinking about it. I feel selfish for doing what I did, but I feel like giving birth and overall having that kid would make me unhappy. I barely like kids, and the thought of having one with a man who broke my heart is not helping. I know this might be a stupid thing to post, but I feel like a jerk. He's the only one who knows about the termination but not the pregnancy. Up in the comments. Hi, I just woke up. I didn't take revenge on him. I loved him and made many sacrifices for him, and I thought he made sacrifices for me as well. Maybe he did, I don't know. I didn't have a termination to get back at him because I hate kids and think he should be punished or something. I did it because I didn't want to ruin that kid's life and mine. I would not love that baby, and as controversial as it sounds, I would probably do things I wouldn't be proud of if I had them. I would probably give them trauma because I don't understand kids or adore them. You have to understand that I was fully invested in that relationship, and he threw it away. I still don't even know how to feel about anything regarding it so far. I haven't talked to my fiancé's family, him or his girlfriend. No one but him, and maybe his girlfriend, knows about it. I don't hate kids, but I was willing to have them for him. I know that might make me sound like a huge jerk and other things, but please understand. Update 1. Hello, it's been a while since I have been active. A lot has happened, so I will be telling you about it. And yes, I have read all the messages, I have not responded to most, but I have read all of them as of now. Firstly, I want to address some things. I have not been engaged to my ex for 7 years, I said we have been together for 7 years in total. But some have seen this story on TikTok, so I believe the story has changed there. I do not live in the United States of America. I will not tell you where I live, but I will say English is not my native language. I said this in the comments, but I do not think everyone saw it. I do not want to go through childbirth. I know it is a blessing to many to experience or witness it, but that is something I wish not to go through. I have heard the adoption or foster care process is a horrible experience for the child, and there may be only a small chance to get into a family that cares for a child. Another thing I did not say previously is that my grandmother passed in childbirth, and my aunt also passed in childbirth. My mother was very close to passing, but I am sure she had a C-section. I am not fully sure, but my mom was paralyzed in her legs after, something of the sort. Yes, I have good financial support. I have a very well-paying job. My fiancé was unemployed for a while, which I, of course, did not mind. My ex said I could either keep the house to myself or sell it and split the money. His girlfriend told me they had smashed in my bed and basically acted like husband and wife while I was not home, so I sold the house. My therapist told me she thinks I may have borderline personality disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder. So I guess I will be getting tested or whatever the word is. So now with that out of the way, I will explain what happened next. I told my mother and father, then my siblings. They told me they were disgusted by what I did and that I humiliated them, so they disowned me. Out of my five siblings, only my two eldest sisters decided to stay in contact with me. The rest of my family has no or very little contact with me. I have an apartment now, and I'm not dating since my therapist told me it would be better not to date if I feel I can't commit properly, or something like that. My ex emailed me and explained why he did what he did. Firstly, he texted that my chest wasn't large enough, and that he needed a fully Caucasian girl with both a big chest and a big behind, not just one or the other. He said he was disappointed in me and told me he would have considered getting back with me if I had not had the termination and not sold the house. 
He also texted that I should have had a different mother with a big chest and big behind so I could have her jeans or get plastic surgery to fix my flat chest, even though he told me he liked natural girls while we were dating. He said his girlfriend would have made a good stepmom, but I hear they are in an open relationship, so I wonder how that will go. His mom and his sister texted me, saying they were disappointed in both of us for what we did. They told me it all sucks but it wasn't an excuse. Besides those three, the rest of his family did not contact me. So I guess that's just my life. First commenter. You dodged a huge bullet. He cheated on you because you didn't fit his criteria? But he was going to stay with you if you had a child? Now he would have been cheating on you or demanded an open relationship. Your family that cut you out sucks. It's not easy to raise a child as a single mom in America. I can only imagine what it's like wherever you live. Even with your family's support, it would have been hard. Given how quickly they cut you out, they wouldn't have been a good environment regardless. And even if you had adopted the child out, they may someday want to reconnect with their birth mother. Just block your unsupportive family members for your own mental health. Tell them they have disappointed you for not supporting you when you had to make a hard decision. They wouldn't have raised the child like their own, so they don't get to judge you. Also, block his mom and sister after telling them that he said he can only commit to a big chested, big behind, Caucasian woman, because they raised a creep of a man. I hope things work out. It may not have been an easy decision, but with hindsight, it was 100% the right one. Second commenter. You don't have to answer any questions whatsoever. Your ex is a manipulative prick who probably wants several kids with several women without actually providing for them, leaving you in the lurch. Admitting that you had a termination was brave but somewhat risky. You know that people will judge you harshly for that. It's like giving bullies who hate you a loaded pew pew and asking them not to shoot you. Of course, they will, they're jerks. Your life is your own, and some things are better kept private and not up for public debate. I think you went on instinct to avoid having your ex in your life for the next 20 years. There's nothing worse than two decades of having narcissistic drama in your life. You'd always be expected to take the high road, to put up with his toxic crap and him always trying to lord it over you. You dodged a major bullet there. Take some time for yourself, forgive yourself, and educate yourself on toxic people and how to look out for red flags. You deserve to be happy.